Jumbo.
you better know. I'm happy this evening for two reasons. When I am speaking to you, young men and young women, and one of them is that I'm amongst debaters. And I know that it's debaters that shape the world. So you've chosen the right place to be, to be debaters. Because how the world is going to be tomorrow is dependent on you. Okay? So keep on keeping on. Another thing that I'm very happy about this night when I'm speaking to young men and women in this room is that your age is the best age that you can ever be. Yeah? <laughs> I remember very well, it's at your age that I made some of the most important decisions that have shaped my life and brought me to where I am today. It's at your age that I decided that I'm not going to have a girlfriend. <laughs> really? As if it's possible. Oh yeah, it's possible. I decided I'm not going to have a girlfriend, but I'm going to have a wife when the right time comes. It happened. It's at your age that I decided not because of my father's words, how he used to tell me what not to do and what to do, but because of my own decision, it's at my time, at this age, that I decided that I will never do drugs or alcohol at your age. Well, many of my friends chose to go and indulge and be happy and be glad and enjoy having alcohol and drugs. I'm sad to inform you that I have so many friends that I've lost along the way through drugs and alcohol. So at this age, I desire that you choose to do the right thing at the right time. I just desire that you make some fun decisions that are going to influence your life in the positive way. Yeah? It's at your age that I decided that in the coming days, at some point, I'm going to stand before the presence of a big crowd of people and I'm going in to influence them on the way they are going to decide on how they are going to live their life. And if I can make a change to one single person on how they are going to do in life and do good, I'll be happy. So you are at the right age. Are we in agreement? Yeah. Yeah. So, because we don't have much time today, and I would desire that we have some more time and time and talk much more about Kenya, talk more, much more about debating, about public speaking, I'm going to request of you, I'm not commanding you, it's just a suggestion that I'm suggesting to you, that if you've seen Anthony, who's come from a simple village back in Kenya, where we have some limited resources, and come his way, speak to you, and tell you of how he's made it up to here. If you see Anthony, who has come from there, and you, being with all the libraries that you may have, let, let me go back a bit. I, I, I say how we got punished, and I hear or rather I see people <laughs> being told they are being punished here and I laugh. I say, Maria, go to your bedroom and don't come out until I call you from there. That's your punishment. That's a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> you go to your room with some well-made bed, some fluffy toys around, some books there on the shelf. I mean, in my days, that's a five-star vacation. <laughs> so, with those limited resources and coming to where I am right now, I want you to go back home, that we are back to where we are, and decide that from today you're going to be someone significant, that you're going to be right. Now I know you may not know what you want to be in life, but it doesn't matter. If you choose to do today what is to be done in the right way, at the right time, then you're going to be the best whatever it is that you're going to become.
Yeah? So I want you to go home. One, you go home. Uh, suggestion again, I repeat. And take a piece of paper. And on one side of the paper, write the things that you've been doing that you don't like and you need to stop. Or the things that you know that are bad and you will never want to do. And listen to them. And on the other side of the paper, write those things, those good things that you know of, that you need to be, that you need to do. And write them there, all the good things. And every time that you have your paper there, remember, I have to do this and I have to stop doing this. And it's on a constant day improvement that you're going to be the best person that is existent in your family and in the school and in your neighborhood and everywhere that you go, you're going to be the best that you can be. Now, in closing, it's at your age I read a very good poem which I would suggest you to go and read. That has had a very big impact in my life. And that poem is called The Equipment by one Edgar A. Guest. And this is what it says. Figure it out for yourself, <coughs> my lad. You've all that the greatest of men have had. Two arms, two hands, two legs, two eyes, and a mind to use if you would be wise. With this equipment, they all began. So start for the top and say, I come. Thank you very much.